and he never will, he never will. My God will not fail me. That's why we worship you, Jesus. I want us to sing this next part out all together. Let's sing. And rain came when blue my house was built on you. teaches us that we got to enter his gates with thanksgiving there's a process to enter into the holy place we got to enter his gates through thanks with thanksgiving and his courts with praise anybody grateful in the room come on I said is anybody grateful in the room when we're singing this you need to understand that God is taking you out of a lot of things that should have taken you out I'm gonna say that again God has taken you out of a lot of things that should have taken you out and if that's not a reason good enough for us to worship him I don't know what else is listen church I didn't come to give you a concert and I didn't come to sing songs that'll make you get emotional we came here to worship our king 
And when we're singing this, we're glorifying what he's done in our life with thanksgiving. God, you are our firm foundation. You're the rock on which I stand. When everything that is around me has been shaken, I've never been more glad because I have put my faith in Jesus. He is the rock. He is the rock. He is the rock. He is the rock. He is the rock on which I stand. So we're going to sing this again. But I want you to get it in your spirit. And we're going to enter his gates with thanksgiving tonight. Are you ready? Just the voices, just the voices. Christ is. And Christ is my firm found. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, get it inside of you. I've never been. Why, why? Tell me why. Because I. He's never let me down. Now, if you're grateful as you're singing it, I want you to run up to this altar. Come on. Christ is. And Christ is my first. Come on, come on. With gratitude. The rock on which I stand. When everything I've never been more glad. I've never been more glad. Because I with your own words church just begin to fill up this atmosphere just begin to fill it up in the room with your words of gratitude declaring his greatness declaring his goodness you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy 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 one this gathering is nothing without you God Real loud, it's your breath. It's your breath in our breath. 
It's you in our lungs. So just keep telling them that. Keep telling them that tonight. It's your. Keep singing it until you feel something come alive inside of you. Because there's no way that his breath can be inside of our lungs and us not be expressive when we give it back to him. God, I want to be expressive tonight. I want to give you what you deserve. I want to give you what you deserve. You deserve the best. Uh, I just feel Holy Spirit saying, give me what's in your heart and I'll give you what's in my heart. Oh, give me what's in your heart and I'll give you what's in my heart, says the Lord. So begin to pour it out, begin to pour it out, begin to pour it out. Come on, begin to pour it out. Come on, band, come on, band, prophesy. King, tell him like this. And Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. We love you. Jesus, we love you. Oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. Can you just tell them that? Jesus, we love. And oh, how we Let's just stay there for a little bit. Many times we shy away from moments like this because the drums aren't going crazy and the music isn't super loud so we don't know what to say and we don't know what to do. But Holy Spirit just doesn't let me continue. I don't want to just make noise. I want us to encounter the presence of God tonight. So for this next moment, church, I know it sounds very ordinary to say this, but if you can just open your mouth and if you don't know what else to say, just say Jesus. Just say Jesus. Because there's one name that is above every other name and that name is Jesus. So when we declare the name of Jesus, atmospheres have to shift. Atmospheres have to shift when we declare Jesus. So I don't know what it may look like for you. And uh, I 
I don't know what it may cost you tonight, but I'm not in a rush. We're not in a rush here at Revive Church. We're not in a rush to get to the next thing, but we are in a rush to get into his presence. So whatever that looks like for you in the next couple of minutes, as we begin to build this song up again, I want you just, whatever posture you feel in your heart that you need to get in right now, get into that posture. If you need to kneel, kneel. If you need to sit, sit. If you need to lift your hands, lift your hands. But whatever posture that looks like, get into that posture right now. Holy Spirit, we give you the room. We give you the room. Let him minister to your heart. Every leader in the room, we should be the first ones. Every leader that leads something, any group, y'all should be the first ones. Take us back to our first love, Jesus. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much, Jesus. Jesus told Martha, your sister Mary has picked the best position and that will not be taken away from her. That she sits at my feet and hears the words that I am saying over her. I don't know what your head has been filled with this week, but God is saying, let me speak over you and let me fill your thoughts with my holy thoughts. Begin to minister to the Lord, minister to him, minister to him, minister to him, minister to him. When David brought the ark back, as they were on their way back with the ark, the Bible of scripture teaches us that David took off his king clothing and put on a priestly coat clothing. But you know what's so crazy about that, that David, in order for you to be a priest, you had to come from the tribe of Levi. David wasn't even qualified to wear that clothing. But he said, you know what, God, no matter what my qualifications are, you deserve my praise. And I'm going to step out of religious mindsets. I'm going to step out of these boxes. I'm going to put on these clothing and I'm going to give you what you deserve. And he started dancing before the ark of the Lord. My challenge to you today is what will you give him? What will you give the Lord tonight? What will you give him? 
What will we give the Lord? What will we give Him? And you may ask yourself, Ray, why do you scream so much? Ray, why are you so excited all the time? You know why? Because so many of the times I'm in churches and I look around and I see people only giving God 20%, not even 20% of what He deserves. And now I feel the weight that I have to give Him my 100% plus the 80% of that person that's not giving Him all of it. So tonight I want you to feel that weight of what's going on around the church in the world. People not giving God what He deserves. And tonight here at Revive Church, we're gonna give God everything He deserves. We're gonna give it all to Him. We're gonna give it all, we're gonna give it all. We're gonna give it all. Come on, just begin to lift up your voice. Begin to lift up your voice. Begin to lift it up in the room. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we give you praise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go.
Let's give God some praise in the room. God, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. He's exalted, he's exalted on high, he's exalted on high. We glorify you, we glorify you, we glorify you. Yeah. Praise God. Come on, just lift your hands up. Vamos, levanta tus manos. When you thought we were done, right? Tú pensabas que ya habíamos terminado, ¿verdad? Stay in praise, man. Dale alabanza, dale adoración. This is what scripture came to me. Esa escritura vino a mí. In Psalm 133. En Salmo 133. It talks about the unity of our, of the church, the unity of the brethren. Y habla sobre la unidad de la hermandad. And this is what I saw in the last verse. Y eso es lo que vi en el último versículo. It talks about the dew coming upon Hermon, which is a mountain. Dice que venía un hombre a la montaña. And the dew coming upon Zion. Y luego era donde venía sobre Sion. Do you know what dew is? Y no sé si sabes lo que es la um, la niebla. I don't know if Texans understand what dew is. No sé si los texanos en realidad entiendan lo que es la niebla. Because it has to do with moisture. Porque tiene que ver con con. Um, and there's a lot of heat here. La atmósfera. Hay mucho calor aquí. But I'm from up north. Pero yo soy del norte. And there's a lot of moisture. Y hay mucho de eso. Every morning when you get up to go to work. Y esa ma todas las mañanas que te levantas a trabajar. Everything had a sheet. It was all wet. Todo estaba mojado. But it didn't rain. Pero no llovía. You know where that's from? ¿Y sabes de qué viene eso? That's due. Eso es parte de la niebla. Because the atmosphere would be so full of water. Porque la atmósfera estaba tan llena de agua. I said when the atmosphere was so full of water. Y te digo que cuando la atmósfera está tan llena de agua. Or when the atmosphere was so full of praise. O cuando la atmósfera está tan llena de adoración. Or when the atmosphere was so full of worship. O cuando la atmósfera está tan llena de alabanza. That little droplets of water would burst. Que esas gotas de agua reventarían. And it would settle. Y caerían. On the atmosphere. Sobre la atmósfera. It would settle on the grass. Caería sobre el zacate. And the scripture says there God commands his blessing. Y dice la escritura que ahí él pedía la la bendición. <laughs> And he commands life forevermore. Él pide vida. This is what happens when we come together, church. Y eso es lo que pasa cuando nos unimos, iglesia. When we fill the atmosphere with God's praise and worship. Cuando llenamos la atmósfera de alabanza a Dios. The atmosphere becomes full of God's presence. La atmósfera se llena de la presencia de Dios. And then it gets so heavy. Y luego se convierte algo tan pesado. Listen, that it settles upon you. Mira que cae sobre ti, reposa. Like the dew on Mount Hermon and Mount Zion. Como la niebla sobre el monte oh, hallelujah. de Sion. Come on, say hallelujah. Vamos, di hallelujah. Say, Father, thank you for your presence. Dile gracias, Padre, por tu presencia. Thank you for your presence. Gracias por tu presencia. Glory to God. This is what the church is about, right? Revive. This es la iglesia. This is part. This is what the church is about. Welcome to Revive Church tonight. Para qué tendríamos iglesia? I hope you experience God's presence. Esperamos que hayas tenido la presencia de Dios. And His power every day. Y su poder todos los días. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm just like. I'm just like Brother Ray. Mira, yo soy como el I know Ray. what he does, man. He's up here, man. He's struggling because he's Él es he don't want a, he don't fácil. want tradition. Y es una Am I muy right? Difícil. He fights against tradition. Él pelea <laughs> he la wants tradición. God's presence, man, and I want God's Él presence. Don't la, you want God's presencia presence? De Dios. Woo, hallelujah! Come on, let's give Vamos. God praise. Vamos a la alabanza. Hallelujah! Let's give Him praise. Vamos hallelujah! A la alabanza. Hallelujah! Listen, I'm going to count to three. Mira, voy a contar a tres. And if you see somebody's face that you, you don't recognize, I want you to go to them and say hello, okay? Quiero que vayas a alguien y le digas hola. And to greet your other brothers and sisters too. Y don't forget them. A alguien más. I'm going to count to three. Ready? Listos? One, Una, two, dos, three. Tres. Go. Vayan. And then we have some video announcements. Y luego tenemos los anuncios en video.
to Revive Church. My name is Evelyn and I serve on the Dream Team. Our vision is to lead people to encounter God, His presence, and His power every day. If this is your first time with us, we can't wait to meet you. Text the word NEW to the number on the screen so we can get to know you. Or visit our connections table immediately after service and one of our serve team members will assist you. If you would like to know more about our culture, how to connect with God, get plugged into community, and begin your journey on encountering God on a personal level, Inside Revive is your next step. Through Inside Revive, you would learn more about what it means to become a member and enter under the covering of Revive Church. To know more about Inside Revive, text the word GROW to our number. October 30th is our Big Give Sunday. Revive Church, get ready and bring your offerings with you. We are so excited because we are raising $200,000. So make sure you pray to God you have from now to then to be able to bring, bring to God what you have in store. October 17th is our next youth night here at the Norris Center at 7 p.m. Invite a friend and text the word youth to our exclusive number on the screen. Join us this Wednesday for Houses of Presence. If you are ready to connect with us and join the team, please text the word HOUSE to our exclusive number. Here at Revive, we honor God by giving our first and our best through our tithes and offerings. We have different ways you can give. Text GIVE to our number 830-209-0808 or give online at revivechurchsa.com. Or for physical offerings, you can give by envelope and drop them in our offering buckets. If you like to stay connected, stay updated with everything happening here at Revive, text CONNECT to our exclusive number and follow us on all social media platforms. Thank you for joining us here at Revive, the best place to be on a Sunday night. the privilege to preach today bueno, yo tengo el privilegio de predicar en esta noche. and I believe that God is going to do something crazy today so can you stand up for a moment so por un momento, ¿se pueden poner de pie? just close your eyes y cierra tus ojos. and as you close in your eyes can you tell God y can you open up ojos. my heart Dile, Señor, abre mi corazón. Father can you open up my heart today Padre, abre mi corazón en esta noche. Jesus we come to hear your voice. Jesús, venimos a escuchar tu voz. Nobody here came to hear me. Nadie aquí me vino a escuchar a mí. Honestly, I didn't even want to hear me. Honestamente, ni yo mismo me quiero escuchar a mí. I just want to hear you. Yo nomás te quiero escuchar a ti. I want to hear your voice. Quiero escuchar tu voz. So as we surrender our hearts, y rendimos nuestros corazones. We just said, Lord, y te decimos, Señor, can you speak to us? Nos puedes hablar. Can you speak to us? Nos puedes hablar. Our ears are open. Nuestros oídos están abiertos. Our hearts are open. Nuestros corazones están abiertos. Our mind is receptive. Nuestra mente está receptiva. To hear your voice. A escuchar tu voz. We honor you, Jesus. Te honramos, Jesús. Welcome to your house. Bienvenido a tu casa. Can we give Jesus a hand? Le podemos a dar un aplauso de alabanza a Jesús en este lugar. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. The vision of Revive Church la de la iglesia revive is to lead people es para a la to encounter God, a encontrarse con Dios, His presence, su presencia, and His power y su poder every day. Todos los días. And anybody that's been in the church for a little more than six months. Y cualquier persona que ha estado con nosotros por más de seis meses. Will know that God will meet us every single day. Saben que Dios nos encontrará Amen. todos los días. Amen. 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 Let's get to this. Vamos a you can a have esto. a seat. Pueden tomar su lugar. Little Pastor Bird said, "We're going quick, so grab your wig." Como dice Pastor Bird, vamos rápido. I know rápido, how he said so. it, but it's no okay. No sé cómo lo dijo él, pero algo de la peluca. I've been challenged myself. Yo he estado en un reto conmigo mismo. And if I want to do this in English or in Spanish. Y no sé si lo quiero hacer en inglés o en español. Y yo creo que lo voy a hacer en español. And I think I'm going to do it in Spanish. Porque Dios igual se va a mover de cualquier manera. Because God's going to move either way. 
So yo puedo predicar en español. So I can preach in Spanish. Y mi esposa va a predicar en inglés. And my wife will preach in English. Y quiero que vayan conmigo a Lucas capítulo 24. I want you to go with me to Luke 24. No vamos a leer a todo el capítulo. We're not going to read all the chapter. Pero sí vamos a leer bastante del capítulo. But we are going to read a lot of the chapter. Y para empezar quiero dar un contexto de lo que está hablando este capítulo. And to start I do want to bring the context of what this scripture is speaking about. Lucas 24. Luke 24. Es el día de la resurrección de Cristo. Is the day of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Para nosotros como cristianos. For us as Christians. Debe, debe ser el momento más emblemático en la historia it should be the greatest moment in history que cambió completamente nuestro destino it changed our destiny ese día dice que era el primer día de la semana and that day it says that it was the first day of the week y el primer día de la semana dice que habían unas mujeres and it says that there was women on the first day que estaban preparando unas fragancias who were preparing a fragrance para ir a ungir el cuerpo de Cristo to go and anoint the body of Christ se levantan temprano como muchos de nosotros el domingo they rise up in the morning very early like a lot of us on a Sunday morning <laughs> yeah I was waiting for it <laughs> estaba esperando I eso. knew it lo sabía. Bueno, pero ya sí se levantaron temprano. But they did wake up early. Y fueron a la tumba. And they went to the tomb. Y cuando llegan ven que la piedra está movida. And then when they get there they see that the stone was removed. Y entran al lugar. And they go in. Obviamente el cuerpo no está. And obviously the body isn't there. Y en ese momento tienen una visión. And they have a vision. Dicen que dos ángeles se aparecen. This is that two angels appear before them. Y dicen por qué buscan al que vive entre los muertos. And they ask why are you looking for the living among the dead. No más medita por un momento en eso. Just meditate on that just a little. ¿Por qué buscas Why do you seek al que vive the one who lives entre los muertos? Among the dead. Y se levantan y reaccionan. And they get up and they react. It's true. Dicen, es cierto. Él dijo que iba a resucitar al tercer día. He did say he was going to resurrect on the third day. Y salieron corriendo. And they took off running. Y le van y hablan a los discípulos, Jesús resucitó. And they go and they talk to the disciples and they say, Jesus resurrected. Y siempre había uno, ¿verdad? And there was always one. Nah. Pedro le hace, no es cierto. And Peter says, it's not true. Tengo que ir a ver yo. I need to go see myself. Y se levantó corriendo. And he gets up and he runs. Y llegó al lugar. And he gets to the place. Y no estaba el cuerpo. And the body wasn't there. Es cierto. And he says it's true. Y nuestra historia comienza en el capítulo 3, en el versículo 13. And our story begins in verse 13. Ese es el contexto de lo que estaba pasando. And that is the context of what was happening. Versículo 13 dice And verse 13 says, Y aquí dos de ellos iban el mismo día a una aldea llamada Emmaus que estaba dice aquí 70 estadios de Jerusalén Now behold two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus which was seven miles from Jerusalem Y aquí quiero que nos detengamos un momento And I want us to stop here for a moment Porque habla de Dos personas. Because it speaks about two people. No dice exactamente el nombre todavía. And it doesn't say the name exactly here yet. Al ratito nos vamos a dar cuenta de cómo se llama uno. Later we will see what the name of one of them was. Pero a mí me llama la atención esto. But it, this catches my attention. Acaban de recibir una noticia. They just received news. Jesús resucitó. Jesus resurrected. Y dos de ellos se levantan. And two of them get up. Y dicen vamos a regreso a nuestra casa. And they said, well, let's go back home. Y empiezan a caminar. And they start to walk. Un camino de siete millas. It was seven miles. Dice versículo 14 y mientras iban iban hablando entre sí de aquellas cosas que habían acontecido. And in verse 14 it says and they talked together of all these things which had happened. Yo me imagino que tenían que haber dicho, ¿te imaginas? ¿Qué hubiera pasado si Jesús se hubiera resucitado? And I imagine this conversation of them saying, can you, can you believe that Jesus resurrected? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? ¿Te podrías imaginar cómo sería mi vida hoy si aquellas cosas no hubieran pasado? Can you imagine how my life would be if those things would not have happened? ¿Te imaginas si hubiera terminado la universidad? Can you imagine if I would have finished the university? ¿Te imaginas si no hubiera fracasado? Can you imagine if I wouldn't have failed? 
Y yo me puse a pensar And I started to think qué tantas cosas nosotros nos ponemos a meditar constantemente. How many things do we actually meditate on? Y perdemos completamente la idea de lo que estamos haciendo. And we lose the idea of what we're doing. Jesús acababa de resucitar. Jesus had just resurrected. La promesa que él les había dicho acababa de suceder. The promise that he had given had just happened. Y deciden ir de regreso. And they decided to go back. Verso 15 dice, y sucedió que mientras hablaban y discutían entre sí, Jesús mismo se acercó y caminaba con ellos. So it was while they conversed and reasoned that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. ¿A ustedes les gusta tener imaginación? Do you like to have an imagination? You got like imagination. Okay. Imagínate por un momento. Just imagine for a moment. Estamos hablando. We're speaking. Estamos diciéndonos todas nuestras depresiones. And we're telling ourselves all our depressions. Todas las cosas que pudieron haber pasado y no pasaron. All the things that could have happened but didn't happen. Y de repente. And all of a sudden. Se aparece alguien y dice. Someone appears. ¿Qué están hablando? And says, what are y'all talking about? No sé a ustedes. I don't know about you. A mí no me gusta que mucha gente se meta en mis conversaciones. I don't like a lot of people to get involved in my conversations. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Sin embargo, Jesús dice, ¿de qué están hablando? But Jesus did say, what kind of conversation is this? Y dicen, versículo 16 dice, pero aquí me llama mucho la atención este, mal los ojos de ellos estaban velados para que no los conociesen. And verse 16 catch my attention because it says, but their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. ¿Qué cosas impiden que tú y yo podamos verlo a él. What things stop us from us being able to see him? Dice que sus ojos estaban velados. It says that their, their eyes were restrained. No dice que Dios le cerró los ojos. It doesn't say that God closed their eyes. Dice que sus ojos estaban cerrados. This is that their eyes were restrained. Pero sabes por qué se cerraron? But you know why they were restrained? Estaban cerrados porque estaban concentrados en el problema del momento. It was closed because they were preoccupied on the things of that moment y yo hoy. and I want to challenge you today a pensar, for us to think what has our eyes closed that we cannot see the presence of God que te dice, Ven al frente, that when someone says come to the front no es para it's not to expose you es para it's to liberate you Ayer estaba, estábamos en Houston ayer. Yesterday we were in Houston. Y en medio de un momento de adoración And there was a poderoso. moment of powerful worship. Y estaba la gente, ven, ven al altar, acércate. And the group was like, come to the altar, come to the altar. Y Dios me dice esto. And the Lord says this. La gente le tiene miedo al altar. People are afraid of the altar. Porque siempre ha sido un lugar de vergüenza. Because it has always been a place of shame. Y dice, yo voy a cambiar. But the Lord said, I will change que el altar sea un, un lugar de sacrificio. that the altar will be a place of sacrifice, un lugar de a place of worship. Lo que la nos hizo What religion did to us fue miedo al altar. was to bring fear to the altar. Pero nada que Dios puede usar no tiene que ser procesado, no puede ser procesado por otro lugar menos que por el altar. But nothing that God can do can be processed through the altar. Dios no tiene miedo de nuestros fracasos. He is not scared of our failures. No le sorprende lo que vayas a hacer o ya hiciste la semana pasada. He's not surprised of what you did last week. Ni le va a sorprender cómo vayas a fallar la siguiente semana. Or how you may fail next week. Pero le sorprende un corazón rendido plenamente a él. But a surrendered heart does surprise him. Por eso dentro de la historia de la Biblia. That is why in the story of the Bible. Dios siempre ponía en otro lugar a David. God would always put David in a different spot. No porque él era sin pecado. Not because he was without sin. Sino porque tenía un corazón como el corazón de él. But because he had a heart like his. Y ese es que nuestro deseo en este tiempo. And that is our desire for these days. Jesús se acerca y les dice, well, yo me imaginé. And, and Jesus comes and I imagined. ¿Ustedes se acuerdan este negrito chaparrito? Do you guys remember this que decía, what's short, about Willis? This short black guy that would say, what's about Willis? Así me imaginé yo a Jesús acercándose. That's how I imagine Jesus ah, coming to them. 
So Bowles. <laughs> Bowles. O no se llamaba Willis. No se llamaban Willis, no. Se llamaba Cleofas. His name was Cleopas. Yo me imaginé. And I imagine que Jesús se acercó así. That Jesus kind of came to them that way. What's talk about Cleofas? And the Cleopas. Pero como sus ojos estaban cerrados. But because their eyes were closed. No sabían a con quién estaban hablando. They didn't know who they were speaking to. Dice versículo 17. And verse 17 says, ¿Qué plásticas son estas que tienes entre vosotros mientras caminas y por qué estáis tristes? And he said to them, what kind of conversation is, is this that you are having with one another as you walk and are sad? Otra versión en inglés dice downcast. Otra estaban versión viendo hacia dice abajo. que estaban viendo, they were seeing down. Yo recuerdo cuando era niño. And I remember when I was younger, when I was a kid. Mi abuela nos llevaba a la iglesia. My grandma would take us to church. Y siempre que íbamos yo siempre iba así. And every time we would go, this is how I would walk. Y de hecho camina, yo caminaba And así. And I literally walk like that. Con los pies hacia adentro. With my feet inward. Nunca se me va a olvidar. And I will never forget. El momento en que yo iba viendo así para abajo. The moment that I was looking down like that. Y mi abuela me dio un golpe santo. And my grandma mother gave me a holy a, hit. Tras de la cabeza. Behind my head. Camine derecho. She said, "Walk straight." Oh, okay. And I said, "Okay." Y yo aprendí. And I learned. A poner mis pies hacia el frente. To put my feet straight. Y mirar hacia arriba. And to look up. Porque abajo no hay nada que te pueda llamar la atención. Because down there's nothing. La Biblia dice que tenemos que poner nuestra mirada en las cosas de arriba. The Bible says that we need to put our sight on the things above. No en las de la tierra. And not of the world. Eso cambió completamente. Yo digo que si sí hay golpes santos. And I do, I do believe that there are holy hits. Mi abuela me dio uno. Because my grandmother gave me one. El versículo 18. And then verse 18. Este personaje que se llama Cleofas o Cleofás. This person named Cleopas. Empieza a contarle la historia. He starts to tell him the story. Y le dice, ¿serás tú el único extranjero? And he says, are you the only stranger? que no ha escuchado lo que pasó aquí en Jerusalén en estos últimos días. In Jerusalem and have not known the things which have happened there in these days. De nuevo. Again. Jesús tiene mucho sentido del humor. And Jesus has a lot of sense of humor. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? What things? Si ustedes dicen que la Biblia es aburrida, if you, if you say that the Bible is boring, nunca la hemos leído bien. Then you've never read it right. Nunca la hemos leído bien. You've never read it right. Y le dice, ellos le dijeron, versículo 19, de Jesús Nazareno, que fue profeta, poderoso en palabra, poderoso en obra y en palabra delante de Dios y de todo el pueblo. And so they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. Versículo 20, y cómo le entregaron los principales sacerdotes y nuestros gobernantes a sentencia de muerte le crucificaron. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. Y aquí cambia la historia. And here's where the story changed. Estos dos personajes These two people le cuentan a Jesús they tell Jesus de lo que le había pasado a Jesús of what had happened to Jesus hace unos días atrás. A couple of days ago. Nada que ver. Mm. Jesús ya sabía lo que le había pasado. Jesus already knew what had happened. A él le pasó. It happened to him. Pero sin embargo quería saber qué había en el corazón de ellos. But he wanted to know what was in their heart. Ah, de aquel Jesús que era profeta. That Jesus who was a prophet. Qué mal estaban. They were so bad. Porque el gran yo soy estaba enfrente de ellos in y dijeron aquel que era profeta ya se murió. Y Jesús, ay, no saben con quién están hablando. And Jesus said, man, they don't know who they're talking to. No saben con quién están diciendo. They don't know who they're talking to. Pero vamos a seguir. But we're going to continue. Es que aquel lo crucificaron. They crucified him. Sí, yo, yo sé, yo estaba ahí. Yeah, I was there. Pero nosotros, versículo 21. But then verse 21. Pero nosotros esperábamos que él era el que iba a redimir a Israel y ahora adelante y ahora además de todo esto, hoy ya es el tercer día que esto ha acontecido. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, today is the third day since these things happened. Versículo 22. And verse 22. 
um, aunque también nos ha asombrado unas mujeres entre nosotros, las cuales fueron al sepulcro. And yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us. Y como no le dieron su cuerpo, vinieron diciendo que también habían visto una visión de ángeles, quienes dijeron que él vive. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. ¿Se dan cuenta qué fue lo que no dijo? You see what they did not say? Todo lo malo que pudo haber pasado. Everything bad that happened. Se murió. He died. Lo enterraron. They buried him. Pero hoy es el tercer día. But today is the third day. A mí me puso a pensar. And it made me think. Que ellos sabían que iba a pasar al tercer día. That they knew what was going to happen on the third day. Algo iba a pasar al tercer día. Something was going to happen on the third day. Pero como no podían procesarlo en su mente. But because they couldn't process it in their mind. Tuvieron un problema muy grande entre el tercer día y Cristo resucitado. They had such a difficult thing understanding the third day and the resurrection of Christ. Que lo más fácil que pudieron decir la tumba está vacía. That the easiest thing for them to say was, well, the tomb is empty. Pero nunca dijeron. But they never said. Él resucitó. He resurrected. Y yo quiero decirte en esta hora. And I want to tell you in this hour. En qué tantas cosas estamos invirtiendo nuestro tiempo. What things are we investing our time in? En pensar en las cosas que ya se murieron. And to think about the things that are already dead. En pensar en las relaciones que ya no tienen sentido. In relationships that make no sense. En pensar en todo aquello que nos está sosteniendo para no avanzar a lo que Dios ya tiene para nosotros. And to think of the things that are holding us back to advance to what God has for us. En tratar de revivir sueños que solamente han sido los que nos han detenido. And to revive dreams that are only holding us back. Para ver lo que hay más allá. To see what is more. Y no quiero decir que no hay sueños que Dios pueda revivir. And I don't want to say that there are dreams that God will not bring back to life. Porque Dios puede hacer todas las cosas. Because He can do all things. Pero si eso te distrae del propósito de Dios. But if that distracts you from the purpose of God. Déjame decirte que eso no es de Dios. Let me tell you that is not of God. Porque todo lo que es de Dios te va a dirigir hacia because él. Because everything that is of God will direct you to Him. Mientras están hablando. And as they're talking. Ponte a pensar. Just think about this. ¿Qué cosas tengo que dejar yo What things do I need to leave para poder ver al que vive? to see the one who lives? Yo empecé a reflexionar esto en mi vida. And I started to reflect in my life. Porque a veces queremos que oh, Dios me usara como me usaba hace cinco años. Because sometimes we say, oh, I want God to use me like he did five years ago. Yo recuerdo lo como Dios hizo aquello en mi vida. Oh, I remember how God did this in my life years ago. Es más, te voy a decir algo más todavía. But I'm going to tell you something else. A veces queremos de Dios, cójala hacer la adoración como la semana pasada. And we say, Lord, may our worship be just like it was last week. Ya Dios no está ahí. God's not there anymore. Porque Dios sigue avanzando. Because God continues to advance. Por eso a veces tienes, Dios tiene que cambiar nuestra manera de pensar. And that is why He needs to change the way we no think. De no ver las cosas que están atrás. Of not to see the things that si no are behind us. ciertamente me enfoco a lo que está adelante. But to focus on what is before us. a la meta. I continue towards my goal. Porque no puedo, no puedo ver lo que ya quedó atrás. I see what me. Y Jesús empieza a escucharlos. And Jesus just to y en el versículo 27. And then in verse perdón, 25, 25. Él les habla. He says to them, so, ok. Ya ustedes hablaron todo lo que tenían que hablar. Ok, you all spoke what you needed to say. Me toca a mí. Now it's my turn. Dice versículo 25. And verse 25. Entonces él les dijo, oh insensatos y tardos de corazón para creer todo lo que los profetas han dicho. Then he said to them, oh foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. De nuevo. Again. Yo no sé. I don't know. Tú te metiste en mi conversación. You got into my conversation. Ahora tú me dices Now you tell me que yo soy insensato. That I'm foolish. Es mi conversación. It's my conversation. Pero lo que Dios quería revelar But era lo que había en su corazón. What was in their heart? ¿Qué había en el corazón? What was in their heart? Y esta palabra quiero que tengamos cuidado con esto. And I want us to be careful with this word. Tardos de corazón. Para creer. It's a slow of heart to believe. Yo creo que en esta temporada. And I believe that in this season. Lo que Dios quiere. What God wants. Es acelerar. 
is to accelerate nuestro corazón a que creamos aún más allá to believe more más rápido lo que en alguna vez hemos creído faster than we have ever believed yo no sé si tú has pensado I don't know if you have ever thought Dios me dijo hace 10 años God told me 10 years que él iba a hacer esto conmigo that he was going to do this with me ¿Quién puso el obstáculo? Who él o yo you or me Dios siempre I mean, lo quiso hacer he always wanted to do it tardo de corazón para creer it says slow of heart to believe te podrías pensar qué tanto podría avanzar Dios hoy. Can you imagine how fast he would be able hoy, to advance today? Si nuestro corazón dice, Señor, hoy mi corazón está listo. If our heart would say, Lord, para my heart creer is ready todo today, lo que tú ya me dijiste y aún más. You have already said and more. Porque para ti no hay nada Because imposible. Because for you there is nothing impossible. No hay nada imposible. There is nothing impossible. Y Jesús empieza a darles una clase de cristología. And Jesus starts to give them a teaching of Christology Jesus Jesus empieza a enseñar starts to teach a esta pareja to this couple acerca de él mismo about himself no fue lo que dijeron los profetas antes was this not what the prophets said before dice versículo 26 and verse 26 says y comenzando desde Moisés y siguiendo por todos los profetas les declaraba en todas las escrituras lo que decían de él 27 and beginning at Moses and all the prophets he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself si tú pudieras ponerte a pensar ¿qué crees que había dicho Jesús de él mismo? what do you think he said about himself? yo me puse a pensar dije, bueno, pues, I started to think and I was like well, ¿qué pudo haberles enseñado Jesús de él mismo? what could he have taught them about himself? desde Moisés from Moses desde el principio from the beginning, que él se revelaba desde el principio that he revealed himself from the hasta ese momento till that moment. yo pensé decir bueno And I started to say, well, cuando Adán y Eva pecan when Adam and Eve sinned, y Dios los saca del jardín and he takes them out of Eden, y en Génesis 3.15 dice pondré enemistad entre ti y la mujer he says, I will put y entre tu simiente y la simiente de ella and from her seed and your seed. y ella te herirá en la cabeza and she will hurt y tú le herirás en el calcañar you will hurt her ankle. Jesús estaba hablando de él mismo he was speaking about himself. Ah, ah, pues qué padre y yo me dije, oh, cool yo me imagino que Jesús le tuvo que haber dado una enseñanza de Génesis 22, of Genesis 22 cuando Dios le dice a Abraham, when Jesus tells Abraham dame a tu hijo give me your son, tu único your only son. y dije para, 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 para. Was like, Wait, hold on, hold on. no era su único hijo no era su único hijo delante de Dios era su único legítimo hijo Before God, he was his only legitimate son, pero tenía dos hijos but he had two sons. ¿cuál es la diferencia? What was the difference? lo que decía después What it said after. al que amas the one you love. al que amas the one you love. y llévatelo y sacrificalo and he says, Take him and sacrifice him. Y no sé por qué. And I don't know why, me puse a estudiar. I started to study. Y me di cuenta que la palabra amor. And I, and I learned that the word love. Fue la primera vez que se había usado en la Biblia en Génesis 22. Was the first time that was used in Genesis 22. Que significa. That means. Que el amor está relacionado con el sacrificio. That love is together with sacrifice. No hay verdadero amor cuando no hay sacrificio. There is not a true love if there is no sacrifice. Cuando tú tienes que morir a ti. When you have to die to yourself. Para verdaderamente traer valor en alguien más. To truly bring value in someone eso else. Eso es amor. That is love. Eso es verdadero that amor. That is true love. Y Jesús me imagino que le dijo, ¿te acuerdas? And I imagine Jesus saying, Do you remember? que Abraham lo tuvo que llevar a un monte to to y cuando lo iba a sacrificar le dijo espérate, espérate, espérate. He said, hold on, hold on. mira ahí está el carnero I have a sheep. Was it a sheep, a lamb? no bueno digamos que sí Anyways. It was a ram. y Jesús dice 
ese mismo sacrificio and Jesus said that same sacrifice acaba de pasar hace unos cuantos días frente a tu cara just happened a couple of days ago before your face y no te diste cuenta. and you didn't even realize it yo me imagino que Jesús le tuvo que haber dicho acerca de Números capítulo 21. And I imagine Jesus teaching them about Numbers 21. Cuando el pueblo de Israel estaba siendo atacado por serpientes. When the people of Israel were being attacked by serpents. Dice que le dijo, Dios le dijo a Moisés, hazte una serpiente de oro. And God tells Moses, build yourself a serpent of gold. Y levántala. And raise it up. Y todo aquel que vea esa serpiente who sees that serpent va a ser sano. Will be healed. Jesús dijo, Así como la serpiente fue levantada en el desierto. Said, ciertamente el hijo del hombre será truly, levantado. The man of, the man of Jesús estaba explicando a él mismo He was to con otra gente. With other He was to himself, other Yo me imagino que lo tuvo que llevar a Salmos 22 capítulo 1. And I imagine that he took them to Psalms 22 verse 1. Dios mío, Dios mío. Where he says, oh God, oh God. ¿Por qué me has desamparado? Why have you forsaken me? Yo imagino que le tuvo que haber dicho acerca de Isaías capítulo 7. I imagine him telling them about Isaiah 7. Por tanto, el Señor mismo te dará señal. But the Lord will give you a signal. Y aquí la Virgen concebirá. And the virgin y dará a luz un hijo y llamará su nombre Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yo me imagino que le tuvo que haber dicho de Isaías capítulo 9, versículo 6. Them about 9, verse 6. Porque un niño nos es nacido, But a child is born. hijo nos es dado, child is given. y el principado sobre su hombro. And the is over his shoulders. Y llamará su nombre And his name will be admirable, admirable, consejero. Dios fuerte, God, Padre eterno, God, Father, Father, Príncipe de paz. Prince of Peace. Durante siete millas. It's a seven miles. De hecho, me puse a buscar. And I started to look. ¿Cuál es el promedio en que una persona puede caminar una milla? Approximately how long it takes to walk a mile. Promedio son como entre 15 a 20 minutos. Approximately is about 15 to 20 minutes per mile. Para algunos sería como nosotros, yo creo que yo para mí sería como entre 20 y 25. I think for me it would be about 20, 25. Más o menos. Roughly. Caminando rápido. I mean, that's walking fast. Caminar no, o sea, pues no nos gusta mucho. I mean, we really don't like to walk that much. Pero durante siete millas. But for seven miles. Más de una hora. More than an hour. Jesús explicándose a ellos. Jesus was explaining himself to them. Todo lo que él era. Everything that he was. Todo lo que él es. Everything that he Todo is. Todo lo que él va a ser. Everything that he will be. Todo lo que estaba pasando. Everything that was happening. Y cuando van llegando donde tenían que llegar. And it says that as they were arriving to where they were getting to. Te imaginas Dios, Jesús dijo todo lo que tenía que decir. Can you imagine he said everything that he needed to say? Nos vemos. Okay, I'm leaving. Ya se iba. And he was leaving. Y esto, ¿pero qué le pasa? O sea, but they were like, well, what's wrong with him? Te metiste en mi conversación. You got in my conversation. Me das una clase de teología. You give me a theology class. Y te quieres ir así nomás. And now you want to leave? Ven a mi casa. It says that they invited him to his home, to their home. Ya es tarde. It's late. Ven a la casa. Come home with us. Okay. Si me invitas, okay, if you invite me, yo voy. I will go. Jesús entra. And it says that Jesus came in. Y cuando entra a la casa, dice que él se sienta a la mesa. And it says that when he walked into their home, he sits at their table. Toma pan. And he takes the bread. Bendice el pan. He blesses the bread. Rompe el pan. He breaks the bread. Y les da el pan. And he gives them the bread. El problema que nosotros no hemos entendido que cuando nosotros le decimos a Jesús entra a mi casa him, home, Él no quiere nada más ser visita Él quiere tomar control Él quiere tomar control Él dice yo estoy a la puerta y llamo says, El que abre opens, 
entraré con él I will walk in with him, y cenaré con él and I will eat with him, y él conmigo and they with me. pero en ese punto But at that point, él es el anfitrión he is the one that's in charge, porque él toma control because he takes control es imposible It is impossible que cuando nosotros le abramos la puerta a Dios open the door to God, Él no tome control. He will not take control y lo que Dios quiere en este día And what God wants today es que nos despojemos is that we take de todo away. obstáculo que le hemos puesto a Él Any obstacle that we have put before him. de toda pregunta Señor, ¿será Any posible Lord, is it possible que tú lo puedes hacer? That you can do it? Sí, sí es posible yes, it is possible cuando tú te rindes completamente when you surrender completely before him. cuando tú te rindes completamente when you surrender completely before him. no hay yo, yo creo mucho en esto I believe a lot in this. no hay un momento más íntimo There is not more an intimate moment con alguien más with someone else cuando tú puedes compartir una mesa con alguien than when you can share a table with someone cuando tú puedes decir ven vamos a comer juntos them, hey, let's go eat porque ya te quiero conocer a otro nivel es muy bien verte de repente el domingo so y de repente entre semana el veces pero tomar tiempo es decir quiero que me conozcas como yo soy say, pero quiero conocerte también pero quiero conocerte ese es el nivel de intimidad al cual Dios nos quiere llevar verdaderamente que nos conozca a Él y nosotros conocerlo a Él ayer estábamos en casa de mis papás Yesterday we were at my parents house. y me llamaba mucho la atención And it caught my attention. con mi papá decía yo lo conozco a él. That my dad said, I know him. Antes conocía de él. I used to know of him. Pero ahora lo conozco a él. But now I know him. Eso solo pasa cuando lo conoces, cuando tienes intimidad con And él. And that only happens when you have intimacy with him. Tú no puedes conocer a alguien. You cannot know someone. Con el que no pasas tiempo. Of who you do not spend time with. Tú no puedes decir, este es mi amigo, este es, you cannot say this is my friend. Este es mi mejor amigo. This is my best friend. Y lo veo casa cada tres años. But I see them every three years. ¿Qué sabe de ti? What do they know about you? Nada. Nothing. Ni sabe cómo te, cuál es el apellido que tienes. They probably don't even know your last name. Stickers, really? Stickers? Really? I mean, de veras? Yo no sabía. I didn't know. ¿Cómo quieres conocerlo cuando no How do you want to know them pasas tiempo con esa persona? Spend time with that person? Y para mí los siguientes versículos cambiaron mucho mi manera de ver las cosas. And for me, the next verses changed the way I saw things. Porque cuando Jesús se sienta a la mesa, it says that when he sits at their table, para mí yo le digo, bueno, Estás en mi casa. I'm thinking, okay, you're in my house. Y ahora tú me estás dando de comer a mí. But you're giving me food. No tiene sentido, pero okay. It doesn't make sense, but okay. Vamos a seguirte el juego. We're going to continue. Agarra el pan. He takes the bread. Bendice el pan. He blessed it. Rompe el pan. He broke it. Y les da el pan. And he gave it to them. ¿No les parece como una cena que ya había pasado antes? Does it sound like a supper that they had already had? En algún momento in a moment, en la historia no les, in the story, does this remind you of les something? parece que ya pasó eso. It happened. Y cuando les dio el pan. And when he gave them the bread. Versículo 31. Verse 31. Entonces les fueron abiertos los ojos y les reconocieron. Mas él desapareció de su vista. Then their eyes were open and they knew him and he vanished from their sight. Y yo dije, bueno, ahí se acabó la historia. And I thought, wow, this is where the story ends. Se fue. He left. Y yo puse, Dios me puso, me empezó a decir esto. And the Lord started to tell me this. Ellos 
estuvieron en el aposento cuando Jesús tuvo la última cena con sus discípulos. They were in the high place where Jesus had the supper with his with his disciples. Ellos habían visto esa misma cena antes. They had seen this same scene. Ellos habían experimentado con Jesús. They had experimented with Jesus. Porque si leíste al principio dice Because que Because if you read before. Dos de ellos it says two of them, de quien de los discípulos of the disciples, alguien que ya había caminado con Jesús someone who had already walked with Jesus. ellos estaban en esa cena They were in that supper. cuando Jesús les da el pan When Jesus gives them the bread, yo me imagino que tuvieron que haber visto las marcas en sus I manos that they saw his es Jesús It's Jesus. Wait, what? What? ¿Se, se fue Wait, he left. aquí estaba he was right here. se fue And he left. Y dije, bueno, qué historia más rara. And I said, wow, what a story. Jesús se fue y Jesus left and ¿Qué pasó? And what happened? Versículo 32. And then verse 32. Y se decían en uno a otro. And they said to one another. No ardía nuestro corazón entre nosotros mientras nos hablaba en el camino y cuando nos abría las escrituras Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scripture to us? ¿Cuánto arde tu corazón cada vez que buscas a Jesús a través de la Escritura? ¿Qué tanto arde tu corazón cuando Dios te habla a través de la Palabra? Esto ya lo había leído diez mil veces antes, pero hoy tiene sentido. Porque lo buscamos con un corazón diferente. Because we seek him with a different heart. Lo buscamos con una idea diferente. We seek him with a different idea. Con la idea de conocerlo a él. With the idea of getting to know him. Con la idea de buscar su rostro. The idea of seeking his face. No con la idea de cumplir con algo que la religión nos pidió. Not with the idea that religion of what religion asks of us. Esta semana estaba hablando con Sharia. This week I was talking to Sharia. Y nos estaba diciendo algo que hizo mucho sentido en mi mente. And she was telling us something that made a lot of sense in my mind. De que conocemos a Dios a través de transacciones. That we know God due to transactions. Si yo hago, If I él do, hace. he does. Si yo no hago, If I don't do, él no hace. He doesn't do. Y te digo que no hay mentira más grande no debajo del cielo que esas cosas. Porque si no fuera así, Jesús way, nunca hubiera venido Jesus a la tierra. Él nunca hubiera venido a morir por nosotros. Él nunca se hubiera entregado en la cruz. Porque de tal manera amó so Dios al world, mundo que ya Él te había dado a su Hijo son, para que nosotros lo conociéramos a Él. So Aún cuando nosotros ni siquiera estábamos aquí en la tierra. Su amor es tan grande His love is so great que no podemos desperdiciar ni un momento en su presencia. Por eso cuando le dice that is why when they say, no ardía nuestro corazón did our heart not burn cuando lo estábamos escuchando as we were listening to him, porque la fe se estaba volviendo a activar en ellos. Because the faith was beginning to activate la Biblia dice them. que la fe viene por él la Biblia dice que la fe Comes from what? El oír. From hearing. Pero el oír qué? But hearing what? La palabra de Dios. The word of God. Y yo estoy convencido que en este tiempo. And I am convinced that in this time. Dios quiere avivar otra vez el fuego. God wants to revive the fire. En todos nosotros. In all of us. El fuego de conocerlo the fire a él. Of getting to know him. El fuego de estar en the su presencia. Fire of being in his presence. El fuego de conocerlo the cara a cara. Knowing him face to face. El fuego de ver the fire of seeing lo que él ya dijo que iba a hacer. What he already said he was going to do. Porque como consecuencia de eso. Because consequence of that. Lo único que nosotros podemos hacer the only thing we can do es regresar a la promesa. Is to go back to the promise. Estas dos personas se levantaron These two people rose up y dijeron, vámonos corriendo. And they said, Let's run back. Vamos a Jerusalén. Let's go to Jerusalem. Porque ahí es el lugar donde Jesús iba a dar su promesa. Because that is where the promise will happen. Así que quédense aquí. Stay here. Porque el Espíritu Santo va a venir. Because Holy Spirit will come. 
Yo quiero retarnos en este día. And I want to challenge us today. A que cualquier lugar donde estás caminando para en dirección incorrecta. That any which way that you're walking incorrectly. Puedas voltear tu mirada. That you can change your sight. Y mirar a la promesa. And look towards the promise. A la promesa que él ya the te dio. The promise that he already gave you. La promesa a través de su palabra. The promise about his word. La promesa a través de su espíritu. The promise through his spirit. La promesa de su amor. The promise of his love. Porque cuando nosotros llegamos a ese punto, because when we get to that point, no podemos hacer otra cosa más que testificar. We can't do anything else but be a witness. Qué cosa más bella que cuando la gente te diga. What a beautiful thing is it when people tell you. Qué pasó en tu vida. What happened in your life. Qué cambió en tu vida. What changed in your life. Y podamos ser sinceros y decir. And then we can be sincere and say. Fue Cristo. It was Christ. Fue él. It was him. Fue él. It was him. Él sigue en el negocio de cambiar gente. He is still in the business of changing people. Eso no va a cambiar. That's not going to change. Porque él quiere presentarse a sí mismo. Because he wants to present himself. Una iglesia pura. As a pure church. Y sin mancha. And without stain. Yo no sé qué novio. I don't know what bridegroom. Pensará en su cabeza. Would think in his head. Yo quiero que el día de mi boda the day of my wedding, todo salga mal. I want everything to go wrong. Yo espero que no, ¿verdad? I hope not. Yo espero que nadie piense así. I hope that no one thinks that. ¿Qué más Jesús? What more Jesus? Que pagó este precio tan alto. That he paid such a high price. Por una iglesia pura. For a pure church. Por una iglesia sin mancha. For a church without Por una iglesia stain. poderosa. For a powerful church. Por una iglesia que no se deja For vencer por nada. For a church that nada. would not be fought against anything. Por una iglesia que no se va a doblegar a lo que el mundo dice. For a church that would not surrender to what the world says. Por una iglesia says. que no se va a rendir hasta lo que el diablo pueda hacer. To a church that the that the devil can't even make us surrender. Pero por una iglesia. But for a church. Que va a tomar posesión. That will take possession. De lo que él ya te dio. Of what he already gave you. Tú y yo. You and I. Somos la plenitud de Cristo. We are the plenitude of Christ. Yo no sé si alguna vez has entendido eso. I don't know if you've ever understood that. Lo que quiere decir. But what that means. Es que él. Is that he. Que no yo me pongo a pensar y no And tiene I sentido it does not make sense. Él se completa con nosotros He completes himself with us. Imperfectos como somos Imperfect as we are. Él dice nosotros somos su plenitud He says that we complete him. ¿Cuál es el nivel de amor que Dios tiene para nosotros? ¿Cuál es el nivel de amor que Dios tiene para nosotros? que nos ve con tan alto nivel that he sees us in such a high esteem la Biblia dice que nos hizo poquito menor que los ángeles the Bible says that he made us a little bit less than the angels pero los ángeles están a nuestro servicio but the angels are at our service que tanto él nos ama how much does he love us y yo quiero que te pongas de pie and I want you to stand up y por un momento meditemos en su amor. And for a moment just meditate in his love. Quiero invitar a que cierres tus ojos. I want you to close your eyes. Y mientras cierras tus ojos. And as you close your eyes. Pienses en su amor. Think about his love. And as you meditate about his love, y mientras que tú meditas en su amor, can we say thank you? Podemos darle gracias. Jesus, I 
Jesus, we thank you. Padre, te damos gracias. As I was praying for this for this moment. Mientras que yo oraba por este momento. Say, God, I ask him, God, what do you want to minister to us? Yo le decía, Señor, ¿qué quieres ministrarnos? Because sometimes this is the hardest part on how can we respond. Porque a veces lo más difícil es cómo voy a responder. To what he's telling us to do. A lo que él nos está diciendo que hagamos. And I heard God say this. A Dios decirme, I want to reignite the fire. Yo quiero reavivar el fuego. Of some of you guys. De algunos de ustedes. That you guys will see me again through my word. Que me mirarán de nuevo por medio de mi palabra. And can we be honest? Y podemos ser honestos. Sometimes we read the Bible. A veces leemos la Biblia. And we go through the Bible. Y leemos por toda la Biblia. But we don't get enough of what God is trying to get to us. Pero no nos acordamos de lo que Él nos quiere dar. And as I was meditating on this, y mientras yo meditaba en esto, God remind me of that passage. Dios me recordaba de este pasaje. Was not our hearts Farting up when he was speaking to us about himself. No ardía nuestro corazón cuando él hablaba de él mismo. In a click. Y luego me hizo un click. God said, "I want people that really Dios dijo, want the fire through the word." Por medio de la palabra. So I just I want to invite I want to invite all of you. Yo quiero invitarlos a todos. But I really want to invite those who have the desire. Pero yo quiero invitar a los que en real tienen ese deseo. Said God, I really want to know you. Que dice Señor, yo te quiero conocer. Through your word. Por medio de tu palabra. He said I, I didn't even know Jesus was an example in the Old Testament. Y todo el amor dices, yo no sabía ni que Jesús era un ejemplo en el Viejo Testamento. Well, that's what he wants today. Eso es lo que él quiere en esta noche. He wants to reveal himself. Él se quiere revelar in a greater measure. En una magnitud más grande. So as we worship for a moment. So mientras que adoramos por un momento. I want to invite you to come to this place. Quiero que vengas al altar. And now remember this. Y acuérdate de esto. This is not a place of shame. Esto no es para avergonzar a nadie. This is not a place where we're going to point fingers at each other. Esto no es donde nos vamos a apuntar This dedos. is a place where we can come boldly. Ese es un lugar donde to vienes presence. con valentía ante su presencia. And we can say, God, I dice, really want to be a true sacrifice. Yo quiero ser un sacrificio. In front of you today. Delante de ti. Because I really want yo this fire este fuego in my life en all mi over vida again. De nuevo. So I just want to invite you. Just yo you can invitarte. come. Puedes venir. You can come forward. Ven, ven. You can come forward. To ask God, God. Ven y dile, Señor. Do what you need to do. Haz lo que tengas que hacer. Do what you need to do. Haz lo que tengas que hacer. And here. Jealous for me, he 
loves like a hurricane I am on a tree Bending beneath The weight of his wind and mercy When all of a sudden I am unaware of his affections Eclipsed by glory And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me and oh how he loves us oh oh how he loves us how he loves us oh come on just tell him and oh how he loves us all and oh how he loves us how he loves us all come on and oh how he loves us all and oh how he loves us
con lámparas encendidas Esperamos tu venida Con lámparas encendidas Make it personal, say, He loves me. He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, he, loves he loves you, He loves you, He loves you. Yes, He
to you can you lift up your hands as high as you can and can we sing that again but with the gratitude a gratitude can move his heart
you thought it was a dead end, God said, I was there with you. Meditating on something God is doing. Estamos meditando en algo que Dios está haciendo. And, and Holy Spirit brought this passage to my to my mind. Y Espíritu Santo trae este pasaje a mi mente. It's in Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. En Apocalipsis 22. 17. 17. And it says. Y dice. The Spirit. El Espíritu. And the Bride. Y la novia. Say come. Dicen, ven. The spirit. El espíritu. And the bride. Y la novia. Say come. Dicen, ven. You know what it says? The spirit first. Sabes por qué dice el espíritu primero? Because the spirit had to wake up something in your spirit. Porque el espíritu levanta algo dentro de so tu espíritu. So your spirit can cry out Para que with him. Grite con él. Come. Ven. And it says. And let the one who hears say, y el que escucha, Come. Diga, ven. I, I don't know. I mean, people like us have been in church for too long. Nosotros que hemos estado en iglesia por mucho tiempo. We're Jesus is about to come. Dios va a venir. Jesús ya viene. And I, I hear this for the last 40 years of my life. Ya hemos escuchado por los últimos 40 años de mi vida. And like, yeah, yeah, he will come. Yeah, he will sí, come. Sí, sí, él va a venir. Él va a venir. And I had a deep desire y yo tenía un deseo in my heart en mi corazón for Jesus to come for his church que Jesús viniera por su iglesia. because now Porque ahora, I understand ahora entiendo that the Spirit is waking something up in me que el Espíritu está levantando algo dentro de they mí. cry out to que him grite a él, come ven. I cannot be without you no any longer I need you now. Te necesito ahora. It goes crazy. I don't care what's happening in the world. No me importa lo que esté pasando en el mundo. I need you. Te necesito. And let the one who is thirsty. Y dice el que tenga sed. Come. Ven. And let the one who desires to take water. Y el que desea tomar of agua. life. De vida. Without price. Sin precio. Let this be the desire of our hearts. That His Spirit wakes something up in us. So we can start crying out. Jesus, Jesus come. Ven. Come. Ven. Come to my house. Ven a mi casa. Come to my life. Ven a mi vida. Come to my work. Ven a mi trabajo. Come and visit my children. Ven y visita come. Mis hijos. Ven. We cannot do this without you any longer.
don't know if there's any hungry people still here. Y no sé si todavía hay que hay gente I don't know if there's hambre. any thirsty people that want gente more. Con sed que quiera más. I just feel God said I still want to do more. I want to do more. I don't want to do more. Lift up your hands. Levanta tus manos. Holy Spirit. Espíritu Santo. Can you fill us up on this moment? Llénanos en este momento. Can you fill us up on this moment? Llénanos en este momento. Can you take over? Toma control. From the front. Desde el frente. To the back. Hasta atrás. Spirit. Espíritu. Breathe in this house. Sopla en esta casa. Breathe in this house. Sopla en esta casa. Breathe in this house. Sopla sobre esta casa. From the youngest Desde el más joven to the oldest in this moment. Más viejo en este Breathe. Momento. Sopla. Breathe. Sopla. Breathe. Sopla. As you lift up your hands, can you start y praying in heavenly language? Tus manos, a hablar en tu lenguaje eternal. Get a mama, my Get out of my mama, my Feel the house, 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 feel the house. Right before. The service start. Antes de que comenzara el servicio, a person came to me. Una persona vino a mí. And said, "I just heard God." Y dijo, "Acabo de escuchar de Dios." And he says to tell you this. Y dice que te diga esto. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter seven. Segunda de Crónicas siete. In verse one. Y versículo uno. And I'm gonna read it just as he said it. Y lo voy a leer así como él me lo dio. As soon as the Marcos finished his prayer, fire came down from heaven. Dice en cuanto él terminó de orar. And consumed and burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Dice cuando Salomón acabó de orar, descendió fuego de los cielos y consumió el holocausto y las víctimas y la gloria de Jehová llenó la casa. I know that person don't know. Yo sé que esa persona no sabe. But I've been asking God, God. Pero yo le estaba pidiendo Dios. I don't want to be a presence carrier anymore. Yo no quiero ser al que carga tu presencia nada más. I want to carry your glory. Yo quiero cargar tu gloria. I want to carry your glory. Yo quiero cargar tu gloria. Because I want to go deeper. Porque yo quiero ir más. I want to go deeper into this. Quiero ir más profundo. That's all he desires. Porque eso es lo que él desea. To take us more es llevarnos más and more y más and more y más and more. Y más. So, Father, in this moment, Padre, en este momento, I pray yo oro that your spirit que tu espíritu fill this house llene esta casa. and they may receive every offering and sacrifice y que cada y and as, as you're receiving this y así como tú estás esto, let your glory que tu fill this house llene esta casa. let your glory que fill tu this house llene esta casa. may our sacrifice que be acceptable to you sea para ti. that we can move your heart que tu and we receive your glory y que de tu so Father let your glory Padre, que tu let your glory dwell in this place que tu en este lugar. let your glory dwell in this place que tu en este lugar. Oh, in this God of revival, yeah. pour it out, pour yeah. it out. Every
every stronghold will crumble. Yes, in Jesus' name. I hear the chains hit the ground. In Jesus name. Oh God of revival, pour it out. Pour it out. Come on, say. Come awaken your people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come awake in this city. Yeah, yeah. Oh God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every stronghold will crumble. I hear the chains hit the ground. Oh God of revival, pour. Let's declare that one more time, just like that. But lift your voice and sing. Come awake in your people. Come awake in this city. Yes. Oh God of revival. Gracias, Jesús. Father, we declare Padre, declaramos that any sickness que cualquier enfermedad has to flee tiene que irse from your presence. De tu presencia. We declare that healing is declaramos our portion. Que sanidad es nuestra porción. I feel like God want to heal somebody today. Is there anybody that had been having any issues today?
Does anybody with any sickness today that want to surrender to God? I want to invite you to come here. I feel his presence that want to heal somebody today. Oh 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are honored. We are so honored to host your presence every day. Teach us, Lord, to steward your presence even more every single day. Because there's nothing better to be in your presence. There's nothing better than other thing to be in your presence, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Is anybody, anybody grateful in the house? Hay alguien aquí agradecido en la casa. God been good to you. We're going to take a moment to take our offerings and tidings. Vamos a tomar el tiempo ahora para recoger nuestros diezmos y ofrendas. And let's seal what God has done in this moment. Vamos a sellar lo que él ha hecho en este momento. In his presence. En su presencia. We have different ways to give. Tenemos maneras diferentes de dar. And the screen. If you need an envelope. Si necesitas un sobre. You lift up your hands. Levanta one of the manos, ushers will si be. Levanta tus manos. Uno de nuestros sugieres. Close to you. Te lo llevará. But we are thankful. Pero estamos agradecidos. Of everything that God is doing. Por todo lo que Dios está haciendo. Pastor Bert and Pastor Leslie say hi. Pastor Humberto y Pastor Leslie dicen hi. God been hi. using them greatly in California. Dios los usó grandemente en California. And they're excited to come back home. Y están emocionados de regresar a casa. But we know that God continues to expand their territory too. Y sabemos too. que Dios sigue expandiendo el so territorio. So ask her to continue to pray for them. Sigan orando por ellos. Continue to cover them. Vamos a cubrirlos. Because they know their great value to our hearts. Porque sabemos que ellos son de gran valor a nuestro corazón. Must we take this moment to offer? I just want to invite you one last time. Can we stand up? Una vez más les pido que se pongan de pie. And let us pray. Y vamos a orar. Father. Padre. We ask that your presence cover us. Pedimos, Señor, que tu presencia nos and cubre. lead us in this week. Y que nos guíe esta semana. That everything that we do. Que todo lo que hagamos. Your hands be upon us. Tu mano esté sobre nosotros. And we declare that miracles, signs and wonders y will follow us this week. Milagros, señales y prodigios nos seguirán esta semana. Because we believe. Que así como nosotros creemos. In the great I am. En el gran yo soy. We bless your people. Bendecimos a tu pueblo. In Jesus mighty name we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús oramos. Amen. 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 Hug somebody on your way out. Abraza a alguien ahora que salgas. God bless you. Dios les bendiga iglesia.